Hello and welcome to New Parents in Training. So as you can see, we have two swings here. Uh, so, but today we're not going to do a comparison because uh, this one, the Glider LX, doesn't work. <laughs> Has major issues. So today I'm going to mainly focus on this Slim Space Compact Swing. Both of them are on Grickle. Okay, as a PSA to all the parents out there, I'll just go and quickly go through what's wrong with this uh, slider LX so you don't have to purchase this if you don't need to. So some of the big problem with this, for one thing, uh, it's really hard to assemble. You know, uh, as far as for all the swings we've been testing, this one is by far the most complicated one. It takes way too long for a machine to get set up. So we've been using for quite some time. Now, around the second to third week period, this thing starts failing us. Now, what happened is the motor stopped working. So when we put the baby inside and when we press the button to have this thing start rocking, it will either work for a little while and then it stops or it just won't start at all and the faulty light will start blinking. Now mind you, our baby is only two months old, so it will definitely qualify for whatever the weight or the month for this machine to have the baby inside. We adjust the baby in terms of where to position her when we put her in, but the problem persists. So for that, it's a major deal breaker for us not to recommend this particular machine. One will argue that this machine actually has a lot of great ratings, uh, yeah, I don't discount that, but the problem is if we have this problem with this machine after only a few weeks of usage, I'm just starting questioning those reviews. Did they post right after they have purchased this or after they have used it for extensive of use? Because uh, initially, this is a great machine, but once the motor starts filling, no, uh, we stop using it. And the final nail to the coffin for this Glider LX is a cost way more. At the time of filming, this is almost $150 compared to this Slim Space Compact Swing. Uh, it's only $110, give or take. So it's at least $30 to $40 more depending on when you purchase and where you purchase it. So to us, we cannot recommend this Glider LX at all. And uh, it's just a PSA to all the new parents out there that if you want to uh, give one to your friends as a gift or buy one for your newborn don't use it uh, don't get it it just it has too many issues so with that being said let's talk about the slim space compact swing this one is actually really good as i mentioned it depends on when you purchase and where you purchase it uh, it's running at 110 dollars at the time of filming so all the product information will put in the description down below so you can go check it out now, uh, aside from the pricing, uh, is relative budget friendly, and also the fact that it's easy to assemble. There's not much of moving parts compared to the Glider LX. So the less parts you have to assemble, the less problem you will have down the road. Now, the simple process is very straightforward. Just follow the guide. It's pretty much puck and play. Right now, it's in the open position where you can put your baby in there and do the swing and whatnot. Once you are done, or once you finish using the swing, when your baby is outgrown it, then you can actually store it. It's really simple to store. All you have to do is fold up the seat and then fold up the legs and pretty much it. You can just store it under your bed or under the couch. So it's very user friendly.
As far as for cleaning this swing, it's relatively simple. What you need to do is just wipe down the whole exterior. As far as for the seat, you can actually take it out and wash it in cold water and air dry. The way that you're going to take out the seat cushion uh, is held down by a bunch of buttons. Once you have unbuttoned them, the lower seat tube, you have to release on one side. Now, in my case, it was held down pretty tight. I had to use a screwdriver to push in the secure tab in order to release the lower seat tube. You only need to lower one side. Once you have lowered one side, you should be able to take out the seat cushion. Once you have cleaned the cushion, the process of putting back is reversed. You have to put the cushion through the lower tube first and then on top and then button it as you go. Now, aside from that, the way it gets power is through four D cell batteries. So it does use batteries instead of plugging to your wall socket. So uh, if I have to nitpicking, I think that's one of the uh, downside with it is the fact that it doesn't have any plugging ability. So if it's able to plug into the wall socket, then just we don't have to use batteries. Uh, so uh, if your battery juice run out, then uh, you have to get new batteries. But then get a used battery, so you can actually take this to go to anywhere you want to. Like go to somebody else's house, go to grandma, grandpa's house, or just go outside uh, to a park picnic somewhere. Then you can actually bring this with you as well. Uh, so it's very easy to transport and super light. Now some of the things that you may want to watch out for for this particular swing is the fact that uh, it will only hold a baby to 9 months old or 25 pounds or if the baby started to climb out. So whichever comes first, uh, you might have to stop using the swing because the baby has outgrown the swing. When you are putting your baby inside the swing, make sure you buckle him or her up uh, because it's if you turn the machine to the highest setting, it might be too powerful to swing the baby without them being buckled down to prevent the potential for falling off from the swing. Now, other feature that this swing lacking is the fact that it doesn't have any music or sound features. If you're looking for a machine that provides white noise or music, this one doesn't have any of that feature. Just bear that in mind. But then again, like when you turn this thing on, the motor itself makes noise. So to extent, that kind of act like a white noise. So aside from those minor inconvenience, this machine is actually really good uh, for the price that they are charging. Well, at least it works, right? So anyway, if you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.